Daddy, you go crazy. And since our last interview um, in Chicago, you know, news, uh, the men that were accused of killing FBG Duck were found guilty. Right. Yeah. Um, they haven't been sentenced yet, um, but, you know, they're probably looking at life. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on the, uh, not just the situation, but, like, the time, you know, like these it's six men that got to spend damn near the rest of their life in jail, right? Like, what what what's some things that they could expect? It's finna hurt, bro. It's finna hurt. I guarantee you, it's finna hurt because some of them got kids. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you spend a life in jail, and your kids out here coming up like, and then if you got a son, now your son getting raised by other niggas. Who probably on dirt and probably doing other goofy shit in the streets. So the son paying attention to all of that. So he feel like that's the right way to go. You ain't out here to tell your son what to do. Yeah, you can talk to him over the phone all day. That shit don't work. It's like a it's 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 something about you being close, you know what I'm saying? And the motherfucker telling you, like, look, son, this ain't this ain't it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? You gonna spend the rest of your life in jail as you keep doing this shit. You feel me? That's it's a difference when I'm I'm face to face with you than when I'm on the phone because it ain't physical. You on the phone, shorty on the other end, like. Yeah, I heard you did. I heard you did. You know what I'm saying? So it's a difference, you feel me? But you know, they gotta, you know, expect the worst in that motherfucker. It's gonna be all type of shit going on in there, bro. Yeah, and they finna be hurt because for some reason, it's like when you go to jail, that's when you start to lose people. Like people start like dying, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you was like, and then in jail, the only way to let it out with your anger is you fighting. So you you aggressive now, and maybe this nigga done said something slick or you thought he said something slick or he looking at you crazy or something like that. And you didn't just bug the fuck up now. You and him bumping in the day room, and now you sitting in the seat, and now you sitting in the seat, think still thinking about your people that just got killed, and you thinking about how stupid it was to fight a nigga over some goofy shit, and now you in the hole, no TV, none of that shit. You just sitting in that bitch reading books, or your mind just is playing with you, and it's turning you to a bug. Now you getting into it with the COs all day and shit, and you just tweaking. With what you know about the law from, you know, your experience, is it is it any way any of those guys could possibly, like, win an appeal later on down the line to come home? I don't know, because it's like the, the, the feds, how the feds be working. Like, the feds sit on you for a little while. You know what I'm saying? Like, the feds ain't like the state. The state, they coming to get your ass the next day. Yeah, we filing charges on him. The next day, they coming to get you. And that's how niggas be beating them cases. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ask for a speedy trial. The states, they ain't got all their evidence ready yet. So the speedy trial come up, the judge ain't got nothing to do. Ain't got no choice but to toss the case. But with the feds, they sit on you for a couple of years. You know what I'm saying? They do some homework. They make sure they already got enough evidence that they can try to put you away for life. I think they got a like, is it like a 99% conviction rate? So it's like, that's why they got that 99% conviction rate. So, I mean, I hope. You know what I'm saying? Cause that ain't no place to be. So I'm, I hope, you know what I'm saying? But everything, I, like how I did, like I ain't never believed in no God, bro. I didn't never believe in it since I was little. I didn't care for it. It didn't, it wasn't real to me. But when I got behind them bars, you feel me? And, and, and people started coming to me with that shit. You know what I'm saying? I started to read it and see like, you know, this shit might be real. So, you know, and then praying, you feel me? Like, I started praying and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? If this way you want me to be for 28 years, just let me know, you know what I'm saying? And I still want praying as much. And then my girl just was like, you know, but you gotta pray every day. You gotta pray every day. And at first I was like, man, I ain't doing that shit every day, man. That nigga heard me, you know what I'm saying? But then I started doing it every day, every day, every day. And then shit just started lining up. Everything started lining up, you know what I'm saying? If it was a time where I felt like, damn, I ain't even gonna make it to commissary, it was like a money order come out of the blue. And I'm like, damn, this shit right on time. I ain't even asked the motherfucker for this. Yeah. That's God for sure. No, but it's but 
being behind those walls for the rest of your life, bro, is gonna hurt, bro. I'm telling you, it's gonna hurt. Like, there ain't no place you wanna be, man. Some niggas, they get content with it and they just fall back and be like, you know what? I'm here for the rest of my life. Let me just do this. And other niggas be like, that, I'm finna cause hell. So you see him, he fighting all the time. Feel me? Beating up the COs. He always in SEG. All the COs know his name. Yeah, you know, ooh, ooh, he's back in SEG again. Yeah, the motherfucker punched me in the face yesterday. You know, but it's gonna hurt, bro. That shit hurt. I ain't even gonna lie to be away from your peoples like that. And then just to hear if something happened to one of your family members or something, it's gonna hurt. Like, yeah. DJ, you go crazy.